Hey guys, it's Whiff here, and welcome back to NASCAR Eat for Camaro Part 90. And we're going to the Roval in Dover in this part. And I'm not really sure how we'll do at the Dover. The, the, I almost said the Doval, which that doesn't exist yet. I've merged the Roval and Dover to get. Wow. Wow. <laughs> Way to start off the video, but yeah, I'm keeping that in. I don't care. So yeah, we're going to the Roval. I'm not sure what we really have there, but. I have all the settings set. Somebody in the comments actually asked if I was on rookie difficulty, and that's, that's fucking funny. It's just hilarious. I guess he doesn't have eyes, because, I mean, I have not, I have it on the hardest setting since the beginning. So, yeah, um, that's really about it for everything else. Uh, the, the playoff grid, that that's what it looks like. So uh, we'll just get right into the roll pool, and hopefully uh, we have a good good start. Also, here's our mismatch penalty, so, uh, yeah. Through the final chicane here, I'm thinking it'll be, like, right around, like, a 119 or a 120 lap time, because I, I mean, we have that penalty, it just hurts us a lot. And that's 11th, that's actually not too bad, all things considered, but the, the, the goal time, which is a pull, it, that, it's pretty fast. Elliot Sadler's on pull, sure. <laughs> okay. Why is Elliot Sadler a road course, like, master in this game? Like, why? Of all things, why is it him? And I don't even know who got put to the back or what because I went through it too fast. But our slider's on an 8, so this thing is absolutely on edge. But, I guess we'll, you know, we'll see what we can do. Obviously, the, the oval parts were probably going to be just absolutely terrible at because we have no straightaway speed. So I'm already, like, fully prepared for that. And I really didn't get off to a good uh, start like I was kind of anticipating, because usually I can kind of cheese like five, six spots, but I didn't really do that. So uh, we're going to have to actually use Macho Race Talent Craft to uh, get to the front. So obviously this race is pretty short. Ooh, look at that. Ow. Oh, okay, don't look at that. What I oh, put Four wide? Kaz Grala, really? It just seems like the AI will just make it whatever amount wide just to fit their agenda. They just, they just don't give a crap. Wow, well, alright, well, we're gonna... I was gonna try to settle in, but I'll just go fuck myself. Ooh, look at that. A pass will be made. No, it won't, because we have no straightaway speed there. Like... Oh my god, it sucks. Michael and that, why? Just, just why? That's gonna be a yellow, because he's just in, like, the worst part of the track. I can't win. So going through that corner, I was right at Brendan Jones' bumper, and look at just how much I lose. Almost half a second. It's just, like, a six, that was almost six-tenths, just on that little straightaway alone. That is just, just stupid. Ugh, and we're gonna lose even more time through here, it's just... It hurts my soul. It really does. Like, it's ugh, whatever. I don't really think I'll have a chance to win. I just don't think I really even have the car to even get up there. Even on the start, I could even cheese it to even hold on to a position. So, I think we're just gonna just get a top ten, which is fine. But I did need a win to get that incentive to get bonus money, which I'm not gonna be able to get because I can't win. Nobody's pitting here, which makes sense because I think this next stage is gonna be two laps, so it's not really gonna hurt anything by staying out but we are on the outside line which is kind of low-key the preferred lane going to the first corner because i can just kind of take a very wide entry or arc and kind of lane spots that way it's weird but that's just kind of how it works so i'm gonna just go on the outside see like there was like a little bit like a pocket opening in the dimension to make that pass so that was kind of cool and well we're up here Basically, whenever we get to the back straightaway is almost where we're going to likely just kind of settle in. This car just has nothing. <laughs> so, um... And it's only a two-lap stage, though, so we're not going to have to deal with this for too long. And I ran to the back of Chase Briscoe. And I do have front bumper damage, but I think that's from last last stage. So, I don't know. Oh my god, Briscoe's slow. That's something I didn't think I would say. Oh my god, Allgaier just rooted me out the way. Alright... <laughs> Okay, okay, I tried. The dog's freaking out. Well, we got to that corner good, so that maybe we can get a draft from Cindric and kind of pull us through. Oh yeah, 
this this stage was kind of a throwaway. I tried. I tried to <laughs> door the shit out of Brendan Jones to get the spot, and it didn't work. So, um, lesson learned, I suppose. Oh my god, look at that. We outbreaked someone there. That was kind of cool. Alright, well, I guess we may get ninth in the stage. So I guess, yeah, probably. Yep, we'll get ninth in the stage, so... Yeah. I don't even think we have a pit stop in the final stage. So I, th I think it's just going to be a green thing to the end, and that's going to make this race very uneventful. Everybody's pitting. I'm going to go with, obviously, four tires and fuel in a can. So. Yeah, I don't know. I, well, we didn't gain or lose a spot, so I guess that's good. But I'm on the inside line. That's the lane I don't want to be in, and I'm going to get screwed on the start because I'm not going to get the optimal thing. Also, I kind of forgot, too, that... Well, I guess Chris Rebell maybe got the lead from that pit stop. Things, so that's cool. Oh my god, look at that. We actually like sent it and <laughs> gained spots. That's cool. And Elliot Sadler just got boned on the start. So uh, Christopher Bell, I think, just won this race. And why am I going down here to make the pass? Poor Chase Briscoe didn't deserve it. However, we're in the top five. Oh my god. Okay, that, that's fair game. I feel like I deserve that, so that's okay. Alright, Reddick. Please go. Oh, he's gonna get held up by Allgaier. And oh, ooh, that kinda worked. Can we get the spot? Ooh, yes, we can. Now we gotta block. Okay, we're good. Yeah, we're gonna nah, we don't have to worry about pitting for this one because it's basically green to the end, so no no worry about pitting. Last lap. Um nothing's happened since I've been in fourth. It's been extremely calm, very just boring. But we're going to get a top five, so I guess that's cool. And I don't have to worry about leading laps or anything and adding that to the stat book collection. So less editing for post-future. What if? Post-future. What? Yeah, well, let's just wrap this up. Chris Rebell with the win, and Elliot Sadler kind of got screwed because, I don't know. So if he was leading, then he should have been on like, the inside line. I don't know. With the game. I don't know. Whatever. We got fourth. I don't even know what to say. That was like nothing happened there. These will get good earnings, so there's that. Uh, 60,000 merch, that's over 300,000, so I think that does confirm that we'll have more than enough to get the road course chassis, so future me won't have to worry about this in the off camera seasons to rack up money. Also, I don't know where Michael and Ned finished after I killed him, so uh, uh, where did he get? Uh, 14th, okay. Briscoe was also catching me there at the end, if that says anything, so yeah. Modern driving because we did get damage in stage one, so yeah. And we don't get the incentive. I'm sorry. Uh, Michael, that's probably going to be pissed at me because I did destroy him. But no, okay, wow. Well, just no guy just wants some more thirst, and no, we're not giving it to him. So no. Huh. Well, I guess four top tens for the 124,000 things, so we'll go with that. I know I can get top tens, so yeah. Well. We do have enough to get a road course chassis, finally, so... Hallelujah. Good lord, it took us forever, but... Here we are. And we'll just put random William on there, and... That's it, so... Alright, well... On to Dover, and hopefully we can just crush the field and feel good about myself. Also, settings change. Hooray, we'll put the thing back to, uh, strict yellows. That's it. That's the only change. So, obviously, with Dover, we have 100 across the board. And uh, the playoff grid, because this is, I believe, the cutoff race. Yes, it is. So, obviously, Bell and Annette are good. Reddick, them. Uh, Gregson's actually out by five points. And Allgaier is out by eight. So, uh, yeah. Well, those are, like, the only two that can make it in. Ryan Seed needs to win. And John Hearn is basically needs to win as well. So, uh, yeah. Well, let's just see how this all shakes up. Through three and four, I'm actually kind of proud of myself because I feel like I ran those corners like about as good as I possibly could have done. I still hit the wall, but wow, we actually got our goal time, and that's tenth right on the dot, like perfectly. That's kind of scary how like perfect that was. Ryan Sieg is second. Wow, he's trying to show up in the the, the cutoff race. That's that's cute. So we're starting tenth. Nobody got put to the back. Um, we're on the outside though, which is kind of problematic because we're not going to be able to cheese it as gargantuanly as I would like. Maybe I could. Wow, I just got... I just got front bumper damage before I even got to the line because I was trying to get to the bottom. Wow. That's a, that's a first for me. That's kind of embarrassing. 
So uh, stage one's 10 laps. The second stage, I would imagine, being 10 again. Well, I guess we'll see what this car is capable of. Oh, Peek our nose to the inside of Chase Briscoe. Oh my god, John Hunter! Good god! Look at him go! He just went. He just gained like four spots there. Holy shit! Alright, we got by Michael and that. Now we're to the uh, inside of Allgaier. And please, nobody poke their nose. Thank you. We'll crack into eighth place here with the help of Briscoe's draft. Wow, our car just sucks. <laughs> I mean. Like, it sucks up to the car is good. Not like it's bad, but that, yeah. Two different meanings for that word. Isn't that something else? <clears throat> Sorry. Ooh. Ooh that, was, that was scary. All right. We're in eighth. Maybe seventh. That's because Briscoe, for some reason, is running outside line, which is uh, not the optimal idea. And Chastain's doing the same, too. So, uh, well, thank you. I mean, it makes my job easier. There was Michael Nett to the inside. I tried. He's just faster than me right now. This this race has not gone as well as I would have thought. So this this kind this this this, this, <laughs> this this sucks. This sucks in a different way now. All right. Um, I think a yellow came out because I should have gotten to the line. So I don't know. But seventh in stage one. Now that's all right. It just didn't really uh, didn't really do as much as I would have thought. Well, we're gonna pit here, repair damage. That's gonna probably cost us a spot. And no, no, wow, we're, okay, we're still 7, so we can still cheese it here on the start. Um, we didn't get the optimal start there at the beginning, so this will be our, uh, our another chance to do it. And yeah, there we go. <laughs> oh my god, that's, that's disgusting. 7th to 1st. There we go, see, that's what happens when you have the preferred lane, and cheese it, and no rules to punish you. Well, Custer finally did it, he's gonna probably get by me here, yep. Oh, 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 yeah, he got by me. I tried. It's just, it's just too stupid fast. And hey, oh, hey, we'll lose third place. Why not? Just go right ahead. Free spots for everyone. All right, well, uh, another yellow happened at, like, no, we were heading into the white flag of the stage two. That was weird. Like, it happened, like, right at the same time on the track. I don't know. We'll pit here again. Obviously, we're going to probably just destroy the field on the start, lead like five laps, and then get past the lead. So, uh, I'm ready for that. And Jeff Earnhardt somehow beat Cole Custer out of pit road. That's interesting. Well, last stage, I don't know how many laps we'll have, but what we do have is straightaway speed on the start. So, it is 26 laps. Yeah, we're going to have to pit. All right, well, uh, I'll see you all in like five laps when I get past the lead. Well, I don't know what they're doing back there, but it was like eight tenths of a second at one point. Now it's starting to kind of settle in, and I'm going to probably get past here sooner or later. But they're racing hard back there. I don't know what Jeffrey's doing, but he's holding them up a little bit, so I appreciate that. So, uh, yeah, thank you. It's been five laps, and I haven't been past for the lead, so that's already kind of breaking the, the script of what I usually expect. But uh, they're still racing back there. Michael Nett was second, now it's Jeffrey. I don't know what's going on, but I'm not complaining. I'm just... I'm shocked. This race just got very, very interesting because we're now approaching lap traffic. John Hunter's finally caught up with me and he's gonna get screwed by lap traffic. Thank you for being too wide for last place and just, you know, screwing up the whole field, so thank you. I mean, it was stupid, but it didn't hurt me, so I don't care. And it boned them, so I like it even more. Don't really know when these guys are gonna be pitting, but if I do, I'm just gonna take rights because I, I know if I take four, I'm gonna get screwed because that's happened a lot, so. I don't want that to happen. But man, they're just getting held up big time. Like, I don't know the gap, but it's it's not looking good for them. So, yeah, that, that sucks. And I'll be pinned this time because I'm one lap on fuel, so I can't stretch it any further. So hopefully my tire, my lefts can make it to the end. But yeah. Well, uh, well I guess we'll see how this goes. Pit road speed's insanely slow, like 35, I believe. Yeah. All right, perfect. A little bit slow, but all right, we're fine. Right sides, one, no, oh, can and a half. I want to go with four, but I know I'm going to get screwed by it, so I'm just going to take rights. 8.9 seconds stop. And I don't think anybody else uh, took four, so that's good. And we're going to be out, out ahead of all those cars by a good bit, so that's very nice. And we should cycle back out into lead with lap traffic to kind of hold cars up behind me because they, they are faster than me so yeah this race got really interesting now 
We just need to cycle back out into the league because Custer's down pit road. And it does seem like we are going to be able to do that. And we have like four seconds on Christopher Bell. So this is, this is looking really good so far. Hooray. Oh my god, this is like really intense because Christopher Bell is gaining on me. It was like 3.9 when the cycle ended. Now it's 2.9. I don't think it's enough time. Again, there's more lap traffic behind him to kind of get around. But there's clean air after that. So uh, that's the problem. So we need to like put as many lap cars in between me and second place as possible. And uh, the lefts are still holding on pretty well, so I'm proud of that. And Steven Light's going to the outside. That's I appreciate it. Not, my car couldn't turn there, so that's not good. But yeah, we're, we're maintaining the, the deficit of like 2.9 to 3.1, so that that's good. And, and we just got to keep putting lap cars between them. Two to go. And the gap's still at three seconds. I'm kind of surprised. So I think there's some clean air for Bell to kind of close in. So I don't know what's happening. Unless, I don't know. But yeah, our lefts are getting worn. As you can kind of tell by the indicator popping up. So just maintaining it. Just got to get through this corner. The frames dip there, so that's kind of scary. Just get to the white flag. Just get to the white flag. Yes, it's official. No matter what, the game can't screw me. Perfect. All right. Wow, we're actually going to have the pit cycle and, and everything go perfect. And we're not going to screw it up for ourselves. Wow, that that's a first in this season, I think. So, holy shit, we're going to do it at Dover. I, um, I really didn't think I would do that because the first stage went so horribly. But off turn four, it was enough. It was enough in the skill and... Yeah! Oh, that's great. I... That was, that was tough. That was tough. And we get to do a burnout. It's been uh, a couple of races since we last did a, a burnout. And no, it's, I'm not trying to do a Joey Logano burnout. It's a scout burnout. That's where, that's why I'm doing it. It's, it's for him. That's, that's why. It's not Logano. If it was Logano, I would have never even done that. So, no, it's not because of Logano. And I don't care if he did it. I'm doing it, I'm doing it in the thought of scout. With this track being so kind of short, I don't even know if I can even properly do it, but... I don't know why I went down there, but I'll try it. Okay, that that's like a 7.5 out of 10. I'll take that. So, finishing results. Chris Rebell got 2nd. Uh, Cole Custer won a stage, got 11th. I think he won both stages, so... Sucks for him. Briscoe, 16th. John Jackson got 14th. Wow. I, I don't know how that happened. But that was, that was cool that it just went green. I appreciate that game. Uh, we lapped up to 21st. Damn, that's almost half the field. And a couple of cars pin lap down, and Jared Smithley had issues. So that's a max uh, earning day. That's 64,000 a merch pound. Dang, that's that's over 200,000. 220. And there's your grid. Uh, I think Cindric? No. No. I don't know, but... Gregson missed out on three points. Algar by 15. John Hunter Nemechek did try. He ran really well, but he was still short. And there's your top eight. Amazingly, Justin Haley's in, which I didn't even know he was even in this this, this uh, season because I've seen him that little, but he's in the top eight. And it looks like, yeah, well, yeah, we'll move on. But I don't know how many laps it led to, so I guess that'll be interesting to look at. 23-3. My god, I think I got like a 23-6 at max. 30 laps we led out of 52. Moderate savings, obviously, because we did get damage. So, uh, you know what? Nobody but... Uh, no, this is Caesar not being a girl. Uh, super clean. Uh, I appreciate it, but Elliot Sadler uh, retired. Uh, Jeff Green stopped hitting on me. Uh, no, we're not going fishing with a racist. Fuck you, Jeremy Clements. Uh, that's it. I... <laughs> We'll go on to the next race, which is Kansas, and I guess we'll look at the stats, because that's them. That's so 823 times 4, that puts us at 3,292, so where, did that, where would that put us in the, the list? That still keeps us in 18th, uh, below Earnhardt, so we still got to about, eh, it's like 62 more laps to tie Earnhardt. But you know, time you know, divide that by four. That's really like in actuality 15.5. I don't know how that works, but yeah. So we're 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 really close to it. But yeah, nothing changed there. Nothing changed there as well as the wins, because again, with our 23rd win, there's nobody in the gap to yeah, just nobody really. We're still in the same spot. 
Yeah, I just checked it now. I just double checked. So yeah. So we are one more win away from tying Tommy Houston, Dale Jr. So that that that's got something to look forward to. Bonus race time. Bonus race. It's kind of over the twenty minute mark, so I could technically end it, but I can make up the rules with it. So throw it in. So Kansas. Um, I think we'll probably dominate. Uh, practice sessions, it was kind of the case, so I'm thinking that'll be the the, the the scenario here. So settings, everything is the usual. Uh, the round of the, the playoff chase grid of 2000... What, what year are we even in in this universe? Like 2027? <laughs> so um, that's what it looks like now. And uh, yeah, well, let's just get into qualifying and see where we start. Off turn four, I don't think we'll. I think we'll get our gold time, and ooh, we did barely. Oh my god, barely. And at sixth place, that is really good. I could have gotten maybe a couple more tenths out of it, because I kind of messed up three and four a little bit, but nothing too severe. That's still really close to the pole. So, well, we're starting sixth. We're still sixth, so we'll get a great start. Cheese it up on the outside and. I, I got a good feeling about this. So Morgan Shepard is friends with me. Timmy Hill, John Hunter had problems. So, well, here we go. So 50 lap race, 10 lap stages, and last stage should be 26 laps if I'm remembering it correctly. And like usual, we get an absolutely just terrifyingly disgusting start. And we should be able to clear Michael Annette here off turn two. And I do. All right. Well, I'll see you later, field, and I'm going to put on some music. It's music time. We went stage one. There was a caution midway through the stage. Nobody pitted. Nothing changed, really, because of that. So uh, we'll pit here, and stage two will be basically be like the same as stage one, except we'll be leading it. Nope. Same as stage one, except no yellow. So on to the last stage, where hopefully the game won't bone me on dumb pit strategy. Ooh. Eh, that's still... We're still short on fuel, but this kind of cuts it down to being a guaranteed one stop no matter what, so I guess that helps. But yeah, uh, we're going to stay out for now because everybody else is, so uh, yeah, that's sort of interesting, but I guess that makes it easier because now we'd have to do one stop. Okay, this may be a bad idea, but I'm staying out as long as I possibly could because our fuel runs barely at 12, so... We're cutting it still kind of close on fuel, so that's why I'm staying out. Even if I sputter, this should benefit me just making it to the end on fuel at the end of the race no matter what. And also, I'm confident in the car just to make up that time even with the sputtering right now. So, um, yeah. So, 45. Perfect. Four tires and fuel, and we'll be out in the way. And hopefully we make it to the end on fuel and not get screwed by it. 15 seconds stop. And we should cycle back out into lead. Tyler Reddick's the only one that's ahead of me because he did pit under that one yellow because I'm assuming he blew a tire. So that's really our only competition. And he still has to pit, so uh, yeah, we're going to cycle back out into lead and everything's fine and dandy. We just have to wait for Reddick to pit. We take over second from Custer, and again, just waiting on Reddick to pit. There goes Reddick down pit road. My neighbor makes another cameo appearance because he likes to make his presence known, I suppose. But yeah, we'll cycle back out into the lead and everything will be fine. And new leader? Uh, he still had that lap, but yeah, we're back in the lead. And all's good. White flag. Everything's official no matter what happens, so that's good. Uh, we're worn on tires, we're low on fuel, but we're good. This is this was, this was disgusting. Some people are even pitting on the white flag, so uh, yeah, I'm glad I stayed out as long as I could because even if I sputtered there, it's still... Like, I would have been sputtering probably on the white flag here, so... Um, Granted, I have a big lead, but I don't want to risk it, so... Yeah, kind of got a little weird there at the end with that, the time of yellow. But either way, we'll win by almost 10 seconds. God damn. I'll take it. I'll take it. With all the shit the game put me through, that's a great feeling to just uh, crush the field. Okay, let's try to do a burnout here. I, I have a feeling this is going to go pretty good. I feel like I've mastered it with how many times I won. Ooh. Ooh. Ooh, that was... That was perfect! Okay, well, finishing results, I mean, Matt Mills, sixth. Uh, weird top ten. Doesn't matter. We'll get max 
I guess max points, max earnings. And that's that's all really good. And yeah, we're good in the stuff. Uh, I just want to look at how many laps led I I think I led damn near every one except for like two. <laughs> Fastest lap, oh my god. Uh, wow, 47 out of the 52. Well, that's that's a lot. The same stuff as always for the car wear money, 602,000 total. And so everything sucks. I mean, we ran such a, like a clean race. I mean, we didn't touch anyone. <laughs> uh, perfect race. Uh, we're not going camping. Uh, we're not going fishing. Uh, no electric charms needed, as uh, I agree. Uh, no karaoke, Ryan Sieg. And we got momentum, so that's even better. <laughs> oh, God. Well, it's it's uh, stat time again. So what do, what is it at now? So 870 times 4, that's 3,480. And we do got our uh, 24th win, so now we're tied with Dale Jr. and Tommy Houston. So that's interesting. And after that's a good gap from everybody else, if I remember correctly. Yeah, I was right. So we're tied with Dale Jr. and Tommy Houston, and we're only three away from getting to Jeff Burton, but that's not really going to happen this season. Maybe? But that's if we sweep the rest of the year. But Now on for laps led. So at 3,480... That surpasses uh, Dale Earnhardt and Denny Hamlin. So now we're right underneath a Jack Ingram. So, uh, yeah, we gained two spots, and, uh, yeah, progress was made. Well, I guess we'll wrap it up for this part. There's really nothing too much to go into. I think Daytona, when we get to the off-camera stuff, will be when the championship, that is. Um, that will be, like, that actually, we might actually not get 100. It might be, like, 98 or something, because we kind of screwed that up, but... I don't think that would really affect it too much, so I'm not too worried about it, but, um, yeah. Let's wrap this part up. Big shout out to my tier 3 Patreon supporters, Adele Reynolds, Weather Bros, Kamikaze Games, Ryan Lazarin, Dave Hunter, Chip 15, Alan Gray, NASCAR Merced, Dowry, Bailey Carey, Sean Hamill, Drew, Jonathan Carr, and Robert Dillon, and Golf Kid 100 for donation again. I can't thank you guys enough for contribution and support that you know, every single month like this tells me a lot, and like usual, I'm always just incredibly thankful and just very appreciative for your support, because it's really freaking awesome, so just thank you guys yet again. I'll see you all next part for Texas and ISM, and that'll be two races no matter what, because I want to leave Homestead for one single race as is, so, um, yeah, but, uh, hopefully we win it. I feel like our car is good enough to do that, <laughs> but yeah. Anyways, I'll see you all next part, I'll see you all later, and as always, have a good day, everyone.